to another video, um, another another video upload vlog on the Stephen Blackwood YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Stephen Blackwood, and today, guys, uh, we are talking um, four part <coughs> fright nights uh, because they are now here. Um, they've been running for about three weeks now, um, three weekends in a row. Uh, it all started out on the 29th of um, September, the opening weekend. And I was down there with um, Shannon Parker, and then I went the second weekend with a, a group of people, uh, Hannah Walker and her boyfriend, and Michael Thomas Clark, so shout out to those guys, whoop whoop. And <coughs> I've just been this previous weekend, the um, 14th and 15th, I went on the 15th with Georgia Barlow, so shout out to Georgia, woo, shout out to Georgia, yes. Um, but today, guys, I'm going to do like a review video, and I don't normally do many review videos, so this is going to be kind of new to the channel, and maybe something that I'd like to introduce a bit more in the future. Oh, who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Um, anyway, so Fright Night is um, definitely one of the best events at Thought Park Resort. Thought Park is amazing, <laughs> as it is, but um, <laughs> sometimes it can get even better, and this is definitely one of those things that can make it really, really good. Um, Let's just say, like, there are now there are five mazes there, and one escape room. Um, so there's a total of six altogether. Uh, five of them are free. So you've got um, Big Top, you've got Platform 15, Saw Alive, <coughs> and the two brand new Walking Dead mazes. Uh, uh, Walking Dead: The Living Nightmare and Walking Dead: Sanctum <coughs> as the as our two brand new mazes. And we've also got, of course, Containment, which has been there um, for a few years at least. And that is an escape room. Got my little map. You know, I know all the I know all the deets and all the gossip. <coughs> and um, let's just say it's, um, it's very, very good. Um, my first ever Friday night was last year, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I wish I came more, which is why I've been so much this year. I've been three times already. I've got another, I think, three times ago, three more times ago. Wow, oh, that's crazy. Maybe even more than that, you know, who knows, eh? Um, but let's give you my review of each maze, and then my top five. Um, my top five. Five, top five, five, top five mazes because we've got other top five, you know. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna kick off with Sora Live. Um, Sora Live is a live action horror maze that's been there I think since 2010. <coughs> um, when it opened, kind of like for like daytime news as well, and then it closed and was just like a kind of a Friday night event thing. Um, it is okay. It's an okay maze. Um, on the on the uh, on the um. On the map, it's got gory as um, its category, um, but it's literally one um, that I don't know. Like, it's good. It's a, it's a good maze, and but it's, I think it's a bit too dark in there. So, like, um, you know, you'll go in and you've got to put your hands on your shoulders, and that sort of stuff for the person in front of you. And like, it's not very free to like move around that sort of stuff. Like, as you got to hold on to people. Um, but I don't know. It's it's an okay maze. Like, you've got quite a lot of scenes in there from the movies and that sort of stuff. And um, you can definitely like the pig man's in there, and every single time he's been caressing my hair. And I'm like, you want to date me, don't you, mate? Of course you do. Who wouldn't, eh? Um, but now I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if I liked it last year that much, because it again it was too dark, but um, well, I have, we had a good run on it, like the other the other day, um, but uh, don't touch the actors in there, because uh, otherwise they will, they will tell you off, so yeah, don't touch any of the actors, please guys, just a reminder, don't touch the actors, don't touch, don't, don't, don't touch the actors, shh, shh. Um, then we move on to Big Top, uh, Big Top is definitely a good one. Um, I've done it twice since being there, and it's, I had a very, very good run on it on Sunday, a very, very good run. Um, you've got to kind of be at the front, <coughs> maybe in the middle. <coughs> um, I was at the back um, for my first uh, run on it, and I, I don't know if I enjoyed it very much. I was like, mm, I don't know, yeah, it was, it was kind of scary, but literally, like, my Georgia was like, oh my god, I can't believe you get so scared of this, I'm like... Yeah, I get scared. Nothing bad about that. Oh. Yeah, you know, but it's, it's definitely a good one. Uh, very, very aesthetically detailed in there. So much is in there. Uh, you've got a mirror maze in there, and you've got some other things in there, and some little rooms you've got to wait, you know, make, wait, make your eyes around. And there's definitely a good scare right at the end. But I'm not going to spoil that. No spoilers. No spoilers. That's what I'm saying. Um, next we're going to move on to Platform 15. Oh my lord. 
Five for fifteen is the best maze at Fright Nights 2017. It was a really good maze last year, actually. A lot of people didn't like it last year. I did. I don't know why, but I did. I liked it, and I would recommend you check it out. It's definitely one that you need to do in the dark um, because if you do it during the day, you can probably kind of see um, some of the actors and that sort of stuff about. Um, apart from like the tunnel scene, but they've added like a village scene now, and they've added so much more to it. Uh, there are more actors in there, definitely. But oh my god, guys, Platform 15 is literally the best. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, big up platform, big up platform, and then the brand new two mazes, two brand new mazes. They are the Walking Dead Living Nightmare, which is amazing, and the Walking Dead Sanctum, which is good. If you do it at the right time. Um, Living Nightmare is definitely based off the series of The Walking Dead. I haven't seen that much, that much but I know that they've got like some aspects of Series 1, Series 2 and 3, and I think like some of the latest series, like Series 6 and 7. Uh, Negan and Lucille are in, that, are in that maze, so check them out. They are, they are. And the real life actors, you know, the, the actual real life actors, yeah, they're, they're really in there, yeah, of course they are. Um, so now, um, very, very aesthetically pleasing in there. So much detail, so much set, they've put so much into the old cabin building, it is literally legit. You don't, you know, you, you, be, you think to yourself, oh my god, it's changed so much in its cabin. And you won't even realise that cabin was there. Oh my god, it was literally the bomb. Um, you do get scared a bit. Sometimes they do scare you quite a lot. Like, we had a really, really good run the first time. And the second time, they love my back. So go and check that out when you go to Fright Night 2017. Um, also, Sanctum is our second brand new maze, which is an outdoor maze, outdoor scare zone type thing. Um, I'd say it's good, but it's good in the dark. Um, we did it um, first time, kind of like in the light, and I was a bit like, oh my god, oh my god, and oh my, and ah. <laughs> But it is so much more better actually in the dark, like in the dark. Um, because you can't see what's coming towards you in the daylight or like say the early hours they do. I know mazes probably get like, uh, you know, the queues get longer towards the evening, but if you want to make the full experience, buy the fast track. It's not that much. It's only £44. I can get it cheaper because I'm, I'm a discount man. Uh, but for all of you, you can get it for 44 quid. So do, um, do, do, do get the fast track. It's definitely worth it. Uh, make sure you get um, evening slots on Sanctum um, platform, <coughs> definitely. So yeah, the Sanctum is located over by the Swarm, there we are. Containment, I haven't done that yet, but that's literally over by Depth Charge. Saw Alive is where Saw Alive has always been, right next to Saw. Platform still at Platform, Living Nightmare is over down by the X area. <coughs> and we also have a little screening, uh, Final Cut Cinema, which replaces the Angry Birds 4D experience after 3 o'clock. Um, so, yeah. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, I would recommend. Oh, of course, Big Top. Of course, Big Top, yeah. Big Top is there. Down by Zodiac, down by Rush, down by Vortex and Quantum and that. What are my top five mazes that you need to check out? And number five, I'm probably going to go Saw. Because as much as I like the movies and I love the ride a bit, oh my god, the ride in the dark is legit the best thing in the world. Oh my, oh my, that is so good. You think Saw the ride is great in the day, you check out Saw the ride at night and it's even better. It is. Um, so yeah, uh, this is uh, that's number five. So I'm sorry, Saw fans. Sorry if you love it. All right. I think four would be Sanctum um, because it's very aesthetically detailing um, outside. They've got like cars and that, and fire engines and loads of that sort of stuff um, over in that maze. I think the only thing that lets it down though is that they open it a bit too early. And I know they said that they're gonna start opening up from like twelve for the half term. Um, but if you wanna if you wanna get a nice run on that one, do that one, you know, in the evening. You would saw you can do that any part of the day. You know, you have to do that. You know, like right away. You can do that any part of the day because it's you know it's an indoor maze, so that's quite nice. The four sanctum um, actors are quite good in there actually, and the I think just the set is quite brilliant actually. Um, even though it may not be based off the TV series very much, it's a very very aesthetically 
pleasing scare zone, and it's something we've never seen over by the swarm area. So you know, number three is probably going to have to be. Oh, <laughs> living nightmare. It's probably going to be three. Um, as much as I love it, I'm not a fan of The Walking Dead. Well, not a fan. I can't say I'm not a fan because I haven't watched it. Um, I need to watch it. <coughs> so you know, someone get me into it, please. A subscriber of my channel, get me into it. Find me the box sets, please. Uh, buy, buy it for me for Christmas or like that, you know, for free or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, even though it's very, very beautiful inside, like aesthetically pleasing, so many <coughs> great sets, <coughs> great actors, <coughs> very, 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 very good actors, especially uh, Negan in there, he's very, very good. Um, and just the actors in general, and the sets and the rooms and that sort of stuff. There's like a bus scene as well, that's really, really cool. There's loads of prison scenes as well from like, I think the earlier season. That is amazing. Oh my god, they're so good. And like some of the lab scenes as well. Oh my, it's just amazing. I like the wall scenes and that, so yeah, it's really cool. Um, that is number three. Um, I think the, it would be higher, but I don't know the, I don't know the Walking Dead, so I'm sorry. But it's making me want to get into it, so you know. At number two, number two, number two, number two, it's going to have to be. It's gonna have to be the big top. Yes, uh, I love my love for it is just amazing. Uh, literally this year, and I didn't do it last year, even though it wasn't a great run on my first time. Um, the run that happened the other day, oh my god, it just made me like love it to bits. Um, and I de <coughs> definitely want to do that one again when I go back, uh, like for the next weekend. And <coughs> go at the front. Go at the front for big top. Um, it's an, again an indoor maze, so you don't have to do it in the dark. Um, I don't, it probably is going to be a bit more aesthetically detailed in the dark, but like there's loads inside and it's dark in there quite already. Um, you've got some strobe lighting and that sort of stuff, so you don't really need it to be too dark in there to be honest with you. So you can do that again as an early one and then save the ones like um, Sanctum um, platform for like in the <laughs> in the dark a bit more. Um, and then number one. Number one. I wonder what it could be. It could only be containment. Yes. Oh, containment one. Oh, I love it. That's great. No, the winner, number one of Fortnite 2017 is. Oh my lord. Platform 15 is the best maze at Fright Night 2017. Yeah, it's right there. His platform. <coughs> it's creepy, apparently. Um, the best maze at Thorpe um, this year. So much has gone into it this year um, from last year. I did love it last year. Even better this year. Go in the dark, guys. Go at the front. You might be a bit scared, but go at the front. Go in the dark. It is the best maze possible. I haven't done it during the day. I don't think it's going to be any good during the day. So I'd recommend you leaving that one till late. Like Sanctum. Um, <coughs> definitely the best maze at Thought this year. They've done so much to it. The set is great. More actors. <coughs> more scenes. A longer tunnel. It is scary, and when you're walking through that tunnel, sorry guys, you know, spoilers, sorry guys, but when you're walking through that that, that long tunnel at the, at the end, you literally have no idea where you're going, and you have no idea what to expect. Oh my lord! Anyway, that is it. So, five was Saw, four was Sanctum, three was Living Nightmare, two was Big Top, and one was Platform 15. Um, I am going to um, end this video now, um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for um, joining me in this review today. Uh, the actual Fright Night video, at <coughs> what Thought Part video, will be going up soon, about the beginning of November, so don't be going anywhere for that because it will be coming up. I just wanted to do this because I know Halloween's coming up next week, like half term, that sort of stuff. I know a lot of you are going to be going down to the island, that sort of stuff, check out the, the attractions and that sort of stuff, and the mazes. So I thought I'd put it out there before the half term comes. And I know for maybe some of my friends that still haven't been, this might persuade you to a reason why to go. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed this video. I love platform to bits. Um, I love Big Tops, aesthetically clowning, pleasing uh, theme tune. Um, and let's just say you will get into your head that this is. The actors will touch you, but will not harm you. Actors, they will touch you, but they will not harm you. This is the Stephen Blackwood YouTube channel with me, Stephen Blackwood, saying thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Fright Nights are here. <coughs> Keep subscribing to my videos if you like what I do. I love what I do, and I hope you love what I do too, so do please keep subscribing. And thanks for the support and the love, guys. Give some likes, give some comments, give some subscribes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! No, that was shit.